Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, back with another video for you guys today. Today I attempted to change the brake pads, so-called. That's what the customer said they needed, but we always do inspections before we proceed. So you'll see this video with a mistake that somebody made before they brought this vehicle to me that caused the calibers to fail. And yeah, these rotors, pads, all that, because somebody forgot to put one of the pads back in. So customer declined repairs at this time couldn't afford to do it but I told them to call the people that they had do the brakes they owe them a caliber so and some new bats but getting ready to show this video just wanted to do this for educational purposes uh, so you would understand that it's not just brake pads all the time you have other hardware stuff that helps the brake pads so if you're leaking any fluid and your pedal sink to the floor then more than likely you have a line leak, a caliber leak, some type of leak, or you possibly have air in your system as far as your braking system. But 90% of the time, if you're leaking fluid and your pedal's going to the floor, you have either a bad piston, well, piston in the caliber, it could be leaking from the master cylinder. It's various spots that it could leak from, but always check your wheels. So if your pedals are sinking to the floor, uh, look for wetness around each tire, uh, in this case, it was the front driver. So just wanted to do this uh, prequel to let you know what I was going through and they were not able to afford the repair today. So yeah, 2007 Chrysler Sebring front brakes. Um, when they do, or if they do come back, I'll make a video for the whole repair. So yeah, to the next video. Hopefully this helps you out. Here we go. Just wanted to add one more thing. If your brake light comes on, on your dash 90% of the time you have an empty reservoir so that means you have completely ran out of fluid because there's a sensor in your reservoir that lets you know that it is lower than it should be which causes the brake light to come on so just wanted to add that let's get on with the video hey welcome to or welcome back to the channel Chris back with another video for you guys today I'm on the 2007 Chrysler Sebring get ready to see what's happening with these front brakes the issue that we have we had some calories calipers replaced recently but we have a fluid leak and I'm getting ready to disassemble this guy so we can see what's going on inside so let me set my camera up and it looks like something suspect already so let me set it up and be right back all right so we back in here let's see what's going on with this caliper real quick Make sure your wrench is right tight, lefty loosey. Should be able to smack it like that and they break free. All right, let's got one. Let's get this one free. And if you can't do that, you can use a hammer and hit the neck of your uh, wrench. All right, so we got that loose. Let me get my friend. Make the job a little easier and quicker. Mr. Milwaukee. Right tight, lefty, loosey. All right, I think this one's gonna come all the way out. There we go. All right, so this is your bottom. I always separate them bottom and top. That's what I do. Sometimes they don't like to go back in if you put them in uh, top bottom if they're the same. Some of them are different on these uh, brake pins. All right, so he's still spinning on me, so I'm gonna use my screwdriver and push him out while I continue to rotate. I just hope we don't have a strip caliber. Should be coming out. We got some spin. All right, so I'm gonna work this guy out. Let's see what we can do because the ratchet's not impact ratchet's not coming out. So let's see. We're kind of cocking. So what I'm doing is kind of cocking my wrench, trying to help guide it out. But we might have some issues because this is just spinning in a circle. All right, so somebody changed these pads recently, and. Let's see what's going on inside. I think I can at least open it up and see what's happening. That's the bottom's open, let's see. All right, so see this right here, guys? This is when somebody doesn't forgets to put the pads on. So you got one pad on this side, no pad on this side. 
heat and everything that caused this to fail and we have a busted caliber. So the only way to replace this now is to take the whole caliber bracket off and hopefully it's under warranty so we can swap it back out. But we're stuck here. We cannot proceed right now. This is where we're stuck at. And yeah, definitely an issue. See, caliber's dead. So, yep, that's the issue on this where, matter of fact, watch this. See that? I should never be able to do that. I did this for demonstration purposes so you can see what a bad caliber is. So let's see what we can do as far as warranty. Somebody forgot to put the pad on. And gonna have to get a rotor, of course. New caliber and new pads, pads are under warranty. So hopefully we can finish this job today and I'm gonna stop the video for here. See you in a bit. All right, so the customer decided not to get the repair done today. I guess for financial purposes, but hopefully they'll bring it back and get it repaired and I told them it was not safe to drive. Definitely don't drive it, but we'll see if they come back. But just wanted to do this. Hopefully they do and I can do a full video on the repair. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Like I always say, rest is the enemy and I'm out.